Back in January, I received this box and asked my Instagram followers to guess what was inside. Two people guessed and you were both wrong. Well, that's all I really wanted to say in this video. What am I going to fill the rest of the time with? Oh, right. I should tell you what was in the box. This is the Dell Visor virtual reality headset and controllers compatible with Windows Mixed Reality. That is to say, it's a nice entry point to VR for those of us that want a better experience than the basic headsets you plonk your phone into and strap onto your face, but don't have the physical space to set up the tracking boxes or want to fork out £600 on an HTC Vive just to see if you like VR. The Dell headset has an RRP of around £300, however, if you shop around like I did, you can pick one up from eBay, brand new for around £200. So, what's in the box? For your money you get a set of AA batteries for the controllers, two standard WMR controllers which are mirrored in their layout. Each has an analog joystick, a touchpad, a menu button, a windows button, an analog trigger at the front and a secondary binary trigger underneath. They feel like they were designed with ergonomics in mind and are built fairly sturdy. This has been tested as I've accidentally bashed them hard off things in the real world a few times whilst trying to use them in my small studio space. The visor itself is a single unit with a cable trailing off it which carries the HDMI video source and the USB power and data between the computer and the lenses. It has a resolution per eye of 1440x1440 at 90Hz with a 110 degree field of view which delivers a pleasing and immersive experience but still pixelated enough for you to know that it's not real. The two cameras on the front are depth sensors and help you set the play area and warn you before you walk into a physical wall in the real world that isn't there in the virtual one. It is worth noting that your PC or laptop needs to have a built in or a USB Bluetooth LE antenna for the controllers to connect to. This is not provided in the box, but you can get one for about a tenner on Amazon. Let's take a look at how you set it up. Plug in the USB end of the cable into a USB 3.0 port. It needs to be USB 3.0 so that enough power gets to the visor and the data bus has enough bandwidth. The ports on my PC are handily marked VR ready to help identify them. Plug the HDMI end into a spare HDMI out on your graphics card. If you don't have one, you may have to look into using adapters for this. After you plug in your Windows Mixed Reality headset and the driver installed successfully, the Mixed Reality portal will automatically launch on your desktop. Follow the wizard to complete the setup. It's a good idea before you go any further to install the Windows Mixed Reality for Steam VR software from the Steam Store if you plan to play any of the VR games in the Steam catalogue. They won't work if you don't have this installed. I'm not going to show all the install and setup steps, as the settings you choose will vary depending on your room layout, the space you have, and the types of things you'll be using your VR headset for. and I'll walk you through setting up your mixed reality world. But until that's done, our conversation will be entirely one-sided. I won't be able to answer your questions. After we're finished here, I'll be ready to help you out with other things. The mixed reality portal has a nice welcome space that you can tour and use Windows apps within to, say, watch my other videos, as if they were on the big screen, or visit some nice scenery without actually going outside. Once you're ready to play, you're going to want to download a game called The Lab from the Steam Store. It's free to play and combines several mini games that will let you get a feel for how VR works. You can do things like play a modern take on Space Invaders. be really bad at archery.
The next game I literally only bought yesterday, but it's very addictive and is a VR take on Guitar Hero called Beat Saber. This game requires you to slash the blocks to the beat in the direction indicated and with the correct hand. Red is left and blue is right. It's technically still early access, but it has a lot of community support. It's number one in the VR top sellers list in the Steam store, and it was just announced at E3 that it will be coming to the PlayStation VR. Finally, a game you can play sitting down, and this one's for my long time viewers. X-Plane 11's public beta now supports VR natively, and it's a very pleasant experience. No longer do you need to install a bunch of add-ons that only work occasionally, this is all built right in. Just enable it from the settings menu, and you're off. In this final clip, we have just taken off from Runway 05 at Inverness, Scotland, which some of you may know is my alma mater. For this demo, we're going to fly a simple left-hand traffic pattern and land back on the same runway. The sky is clear and the winds are calm. I hope you enjoy and thanks for watching.